Alright, what's up Amaya and today I will tell you about Windows. This is the first party Microsoft app provided by Microsoft itself. This app is very good for setting up, debloating, optimizing, repair and whatever you want to tweak your operating system as well. So in the pre also I have told you about an app known as the Power Toys which has a lot of customization options but this app is for optimizing and boosting up the maximum performance of your PC, Windows app, Windows operating system or Windows device. I will provide the Microsoft link, Microsoft store link in the description so you can check it out and download it from here. It is only available on Microsoft or store. Also you can download it from other devices but this is only available for Microsoft store directly. Okay, I already downloaded this app. This will give you the system information. In the home section, this will also provide you the so, uh, my processes information. This is my graphics in, information. This is every information that you want to use. It is also very good. It gives you details absolutely accurately and also giving you everything that you need to know. This is everything about my Windows system. Well, this is probably the best one. You do not need any other optimizer because those are third-party optimizers and they always hog up and slow down your PC instead of optimizing it. But this is the first party available. So probably the best one and the best way to optimize, repair and tweak your operating system for maximum performance. So this is the sidebar. Let's go into apps section. Here you can see I have all the listed apps that are installed on my Windows device. Also you can check and also in the three section menu you can see you can browse search and uninstall those apps if you want to know anything about your app you can simply just browse it here is the list of all the apps i have already debloated it but still i want to show you how to debloat that let's say i want to un uninstall this app i'm going to simply uninstall it right here here is some um, i don't want to let me show you still also if you want to open the app search reset the app from directly here you can directly open the apps and see what are those apps. Okay, now let me tell you if you are using apps that are running in the background and you do not want them to run in the background, you can simply close them right from here. And also this gives you the all list of the apps that are installed on your system. For example, I do not want to use Windows Print. I am going to simply go here and reset it. This will be reset to default settings and also install it. Installation is possible for you. I already uninstalled these apps and it is not available so it was not found. Well, you can uninstall all of those apps. Also in the services section, you can see Okay, it just crashed on me. I don't know why. I got to run it as administrator. Okay, now in the services section, you can see all the services that are running in the background. And if someone, something are causing any problems, you can simply just see there are some useless services that are running in the background and taking up some of my CPU resources. But I do not want to close them right now. Here are some of the services that I just disabled it for my own. This is gives you the all list. These are the useless ones that you should not be running. If you do not want to use them, simply just they are not running. They are disabled right now. Let me show you the running one. As you can see, this one here is running. I'm going to simply right click and stop it. This will stop in the background. If anything is causing issues to you, you can simply fix it right from here any service that you want everything is sorted here and available in nice ui instead of the task manager so in the performance section you can ultimate performance power plan this will if you're using a laptop that is requires a battery this will optimize the app and then give you a power plan that will maximize the performance of your laptop without causing any lag or something there are some a lot of things. There are some apps that are starting up. You can also stop them from relaunching. You can change for visual visual settings. 
in the game mode you can turn on game mode background recording and anything that game related for example let me show you something it is the delivery optimization and there are a lot of things here so in the health section you can see my pc startup is very slow so i can just simply turn on the first setup this will open up an option that will 50 it will provide some mem save some memory in the ram and then my pc will be easily and fastly boot up as you can see the first startup is just disabled from here but now as you can see it was turned on by default and it is recommended without changing anything else it will simply turn on from here but, but uh, i mean you should remember that always run it as an administrator if i turn on delivery optimization this will optimize all of my devices disks that will provide me maximum performance as you can see this is still working now i'm gonna close it but i do not want it it to run manually so i will just turn on the settings for automatic i don't want no automatic right now but here is if you are having some issues you can simply repair all of those recommended stuff right here simply select all and scan and repair this will do the job for you if you want to clean your windows device you can clean it from here clean up section if your windows update is not working you can update right from here and also select the updates that you want to run this is some defaults graphics driver restart is very useful and the icons cache is very useful for example, sometimes my graphics driver is not working correctly and is causing me some problems so I can just restart from here and also rebuild my icons if they are giving some issues. Also for example if you are want to have this PC on desktop that is probably not available by default you can turn on this and a P this PC will be available on your desktop. Also here is some recycle bin and all of the other stuff that is very useful. These are some tweaks done to your now as you can see the Bing search is now not included in my search let me search something now as you can see Bing search is not coming up if you want to know let me show you again if I turn this on now if I search something it will give me search the web options which always just slow down my system I will always close this and never turn it on again so in the file explorer tweaks you can see there is an option that shows a lot of things that might be very useful for you and also i want to open it for this pc and not ch just turn it to something else okay in privacy section you can just turn off the other stuffs like location which is not useful and it's just consuming resources in the background just turn all of these off and also if you want to know some app launch tracking you can turn that on or just turn it off as you wish in the ad section i always turn off all the ads i do not want to see any ads on my windows device okay so what is this section this is the system one where you want to know if you want clock with seconds you can just turn this on and it will simply restart the task bar and then you will see you can see seconds but I want it to be on default. Don't want any distractions right now. But you can change it to whenever you want. I do not want any feedback notifications. And also if you want to turn on the God mode. God mode is pretty awesome. Let me tell you something. If you are a power user. Then God mode is going to be very useful for you. In the settings you can change the theme of this Windows app. And there are a lot of things that you want to change. This is probably the best app to optimize, rebuild and do whatever you want repair this app so in the last effort you have done the tweaks simply just reboot the system and that will be it